Michael, I mean, when I think about Michael's performances, he's he's got to be one of certainly one of the most natural performers I've I've ever met. Any time he takes the stage, just thrills audiences entirely and completely. The next person there is Dermot. Uh, Dermot's the, 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 the heart and soul of the group. He's been with us since the very beginning. Um, the Bowron player. Um, he, he also plays in numerous other instruments, including the bazooki, mandolin, mandola, uh, guitar as well. He's um, from County Sligo originally. So um, he's, he's a great guy to have in the show. Well, Isaac is our, a wind specialist. So he plays the, the illan pipes. In Irish, illan means elbow. So it's a set of pipes powered by the, by the elbow, but also the, the flute, the whistles, and lots of other, other different instruments as well. Marianne is one of those performers who, she's only unleashing parts of her talent really in the show. Marianne plays maybe four or five other instruments that she's not even bringing onto the stage with her in the show that, she, that you're seeing later this evening. But uh, one of Marianne's tricks is uh, she's an amazing dancer. During the show, I think when audiences are least expecting it, Marianne jumps off her podium and hits the floor and it's great to see it. It shows, it shows the real fusion between Irish music and dance and what would generally have happened at the crossroads as well years ago. Johnny is our guitar specialist. He's the the king of the of the group. He's on his throne up in the up in the centre, surrounded by by Taylor guitars. But uh, Johnny Johnny is the the rhythm really behind behind all the music. Another great guy to to have on the team and a great guy to to tour with. Jonas is um, living in Galway at the moment. He's uh, he's one of the key features in the in the pub circuit around Galway. And, um, he was one of the people that um, all the tourists would recognise from playing in you know different places every night around town. So yeah, he's a great guy to work with, and really love travelling with him. Amy is probably one of the finest harpists you'll you'll see around Ireland. But not just that, Amy also plays plays fiddle and and doubles up with Michael on fiddle for a lot of the tunes. Um, and plays concertina, but an accordion as well, and has possibly one of the sweetest voices I've I've heard. Marcus has been touring with us for for quite a while. Well known to a, an awful lot of of audiences throughout the U.S. He's a an amazing dancer, um, very versatile. Got lots of tricks that he throws into the show. Dances on the box, as you can see. It's, uh, it's amazing, amazing to watch him. And also Charlene. Charlene is a very well-known dancer throughout Ireland. Um, a lovely red-haired Irish Colleen. This is her first time touring with a major production and there's probably no better way to introduce an Irish dancer to an American audience than through a PBS special. By being on PBS, it's like a dream come true. We played to thousands of people every night in, in, in the venues that we're in, but this is an opportunity for people all around the world who may not necessarily have the opportunity to, to see a live show, to just sit in their living room and, and, and watch and experience the culture that we have in Ireland, which is you know 7,000 miles away. So um, we, we just really want to give that, give that gift to people and, and let them experience Celtic Crossroads.